Yo guys, what's up? My name is Eddie from Epic Minds and I'm chilling here with 37 MPH. Oh yeah. Um I had this song and I had to come to your studio again and get a sense of how it all came about. And and again, I wanna say this, we are here to learn. So um I know there's there's a lot that went into the process of creating this song. Um but you you probably want to share with us like what would you say like were the key events that led to you having this number with this uh, choir? Cool. Look, it was easy. Got a got a, a WhatsApp call from the guy who's gonna be my manager. He's probably gonna be my manager by the time this video comes out. Um he's like, Yo, um someone is looking for you. So I was like, Cool, and I saw on, on Twitter I was being followed by you love youth choir. I was like, something is happening here. Uh, and then they hit me up. They're like, yo, we have this song. It's quite urgent. Can you produce it for us? Sure, no problem. So um, they sent me the acapella. And then I worked from the acapella. And you made a whole song from just the acapella. Yeah. So these guys then record on top of your, of your beat. You made the beat on top of what they had given Correct. You. Correct. Oh. It was Amazing. The song was written already. Like The only thing I was saying was acapella and a piano guide. I was sure. like, okay, cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, what what is the song about? A song is about hope, man. Literally, you know, for everything that we've been going through, social media, you know, sometimes we people come come with a thing of um, opinions. Number one, people are negative on social media. It was a thing of let's li listen to each other, let's hear one another out, and also for the time that we're going through in lockdown, a lot of people have lost their jobs. Yeah. Um, you know, people are feeling desperate. There's looting. You know, so it's a song just that's supposed to give you guys a bit of hope, give me and hope, give you hope um, that it's going to be okay as long as we just take a breath and listen to one another um, and just let the sun shine up. You know. The link yeah. is down there. Mm -hmm. Song is out. Check it out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how you you did all the magic. Yeah, I'm going to walk you through my crazy process. Eh? So the song has... I think six stems, vocals, vocal effects, sound, uh, synthesizers, keyboards, guitar, sound effects, um, main drums, fill up drums, percussion, and bass. Um, so in terms of the bass, so the song is in is in um, key of F. Woo, that sucks. That's not quite the sound I use. So the plugin that I use for for doing my side chain, because I don't I don't want to spend time um um i don't like to spend too much time doing um routing and finding a kick to sit there and, and whatever no i'm not that guy so uh, this guy is amazing yeah it does its thing you know so we're just talking about side chaining there yeah. right okay That's it. So you, you just want something just that's just gonna give uh, movement to your track and movement to your parts. So, and especially like this, like look, look, I spent two nights just working on the rhythm of of the um, of of the chorus because that's the biggest part. So I'll just break it down. So like the chorus for me always has two parts, like the, the part that sat the, the first satisfaction, uh, and then there's another one. So I call that the second one, the drop. The drop is the most important satisfaction that you, you can ever have in a song. If you don't have that, well, for this style of song, then you haven't quite achieved it. So uh, break it down. So we had like our simple stuff. So obviously I couldn't, I couldn't cloud the rhythm with the cha, 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 at the big, at the chorus. So, so it just does like, you know, on, on two, B2 two and four, and then, so when I played this to my engineer, he, his initial reaction was like, Your, the reason why it's not big is because the, the rim shot is not wide. It's not open. So, so initially when I programmed it, it was like, like, mm. 
was like, nah, bro. So literally, like, I sent him the MP3. So you need to like really trust your engineer. Like that as a producer, like your strength is literally. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna stop you. There. Yeah. A lot of us we don't have engineers. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So I'll, I got you. In your mind, always think of. Always have two minds: your creative side and the technical side. So the creative mind is you. Yeah. The technical side is, okay, um, the person that's going to be approving the track and putting it on radio and getting giving it to sync thinks technically. They're not going to think creatively. So you need to think of the elements like what has just happened. Like at the chorus, is is the is the rim shot subdued? Is your is your snare subdued? At the chorus, it needs to be open. That's it gives it gives the song movement for this style of song, not for all types of songs. We needed the song to sparkle at the at the chorus. So when I played it to my engineer and to my other self to like, okay, cool, something is missing at this big part. What is it? Yeah. It, the thing wasn't moving. So giving it a little bit of reverb, like so if I play it like this, it's lame. But if you go then it's like m movement because like there's layers in the okay. back. Okay. So a yeah. lot of people struggle to um, transition from that dry um, sound to yeah. a very wet sound. Correct. What did you do there briefly? <laughs> I've got great buses. So okay. so on bus twenty four. Um, so I don't. I never apply it to the instrument exactly. Use buses. Yeah. Um, send effect. Yeah. So I've got a few uh, reverbs. The first one is a space delay, uh, a long one. So in, in Ableton, you can actually tell time differently. Um, but in Logic, it's a bit different. So 24, so one bar. So you, you, you want the delay to go for one bar. So this is how you do it in, in Ableton, I mean in Logic. So you open the secondary ruler. Um, and then mark out time. So 53 to 55, how long is it? That's two seconds. So my reverb needs to be at least two seconds long. So I set it to 2.28. So I got the number 2.28 from looking in, in Ableton. So when you mark out one bar, you just literally select one bar and you look at the bottom, bottom right of the screen on Ableton and you will see how long that, that duration is in seconds then that informs you to how much time your reverb must have. So that will be a short delay. So a medium delay would be four seconds to six seconds. So this, this, is my me, this is my medium delay. And then on top of that, then I've got a long delay. So I use the reactor. Reactor really works amazingly in terms of, of giving us uh, space and time. So the time on this mofo, um, jeepers, where is it? It's ten point five, so it's a longer delay. So, so, so when you when you when when you um activate your 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 sound like boom. So I'll just play it on its own. It's, so it's nice and long. And also, so it hits and there's a there's a pre delay, so it doesn't like just smash and then okay that it goes. So, but um. This is one expensive, like hack. Um, I spent like it's this. I would never give anyone my my logic, um, <laughs> my logic session ever, because uh, my engineer myself worked for two months working on exactly every single detail. So like if you look at um, the mixer, these are nice, nice little. You can make your own one. When I'm composing, I'm working from scratch. Okay. When I'm producing. I usually produce most of the beat in Ableton. Okay. And then I bring it to Logic for like, right. that's where I wear my other hat. I'm okay. like, okay, cool. I'm not thinking as the guy who made it. I'm not too emotionally attached to what was going on that time. Now I'm thinking about what can I reduce to make the song clear. Okay. So, and then on this, on this particular thing, I've set it up in a way where you can load your tracks and then you've got a gang of send effects, you know, um, <laughs> like, I mean, a gang, they come with the, with, they come every time I, I open a, a new file. So, so every channel literally has send. So you, you can just fire up, um, got vocal, um, 
short verb, long verb, slap delays, uh, micro shift, para, like every single thing you can think of. Guitar, because I know like my style of production, I always have guitar somewhere in the middle, violins. Mm. So everything is taken care of. And we've literally tuned every single thing. We just make a slight, slight tweak and then, then the mix kind of glues together. Then once you're done, uh, I've got other like summing buses once I'm done um, out after. So this is quite an expensive one. I would never part with this like, unless you, you're coming in the tens <laughs> of thousands. <Yeah. laughs> this one is quite an expensive one. Look, because we work really hard on it um, and it works. Eh? Every, every two months we, we, we update it and okay. we add a few other features. But the the reason why like everything sounds glued is because we put a lot of time and thoughts okay. into into it. So now back to the the, the rim shot. So let me take out the vocals. And then another thing that I need you to 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 note, uh, if I literally just focus on the rhythm section. So our hi hat, because I really need you to stand. I needed it to stand out. So right. So now I've got two hats that pretty much do a similar thing. The one is, is a bit more brighter. This is the most basic one. So, so that's, that's it without any sound effects. And then, then I obviously like, I need to put some sheen. The best way to put sheen is not to add is to first subtract. So I took out everything in the, in the, in the lower register, mm -hmm. in the lower frequencies. Uh, and then, then I made it a little brighter around 2000 Ks to 2000, um, 2000 Hertz. And then, uh, another really cool trick is the transient master, uh, which comes with native instruments. This thing will tighten up your sound. Like, so if you listen to this and then with it, much cleaner. So sometimes like when a lot of stuff is going on, you don't want to crowd it with that too many things. Then the third thing that I did, uh, I just added a little bit of uh, auto pan. Auto pan is your friend because like this, I love sheen, like I love expensive songs. So at the top, you want to make sure that it's beautiful there. My vocals is not there. It's literally just like the gold, the gold dust, like the hi hats. So I want movement there. I don't want it to be like, and it's sitting on one speaker. So I want it to go. Tss, 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 tss. So and yeah, it's like. Yeah. So it's it makes it very obvious what I was doing. And then there's another very expensive one, similar. I did literally I did the same thing with it. So this one they kind of like TikTok against each other. The one is darker in in character, and then so the one goes, so the other one goes, so it goes down and the other one goes up. So it's like a weird TikToky feel like. Then, then the combination of that and the shaker loops, then like you've got like a massive sounding, you know. Then that pretty much concludes like the, the, the rhythm section of the, the first part. Now for, for the satisfaction, like as I was saying, so after you've done that, now you want it, you want to go so the one is going this way, you want to almost like flip it around, but you're still going in the same direction. So I added rhythm there just to, to, uh, to change it. So the first part would be, that's the chorus. And then we stop, break. So that, that, so you can hear the rhythm section is filtering down. It's a little bit of, bit of a trick that I learned from, well, I stole from the chain smokers. So I noticed because they're very good at radio songs. So they transition from a big chorus to verse, filter it down. So it saves you the... Well, ex the, explain that. What do you mean? So, so, so we're coming from a big part. Yeah. Now we want to go to a verse. So what do you do? Like the train is moving fast. Like we have four bars of big part. Then we need to get out of there quickly. And then we need to go to like a completely different part. 
how do you do it? You do drum rolls, drum fills. I don't have time for that. Some I have lots of drum fills on the song. Don't get it twisted. But between a, a big chorus and a verse, you don't really have much time. You have four bars to to make a statement and then get out and then we're in this new part. So the best way to do it is filter it down. Like you put a filter on the, the entire drum part. Uh, I literally have an, one knob filter. So it's going to smash, pull. So we're full. And then we, we start darkening it. Um, you know? And then, oh, it's, I've also got white noise. That's a weird thing. Um, I don't know why I didn't, like, on that channel. So at the at the chorus, when the chorus uh, comes in, I've got this one channel. It does nothing except provide white noise. Uh, <laughs> so other people, other people would have uh, taken a wave of white noise, but I just use the tool. So I just go to to, to like a, a test oscillator on on Logic. Got I've got that. It's it's side chaining, uh, and then I've got this other thing called Ender Smile, which makes it like. Yeah, it's super bright. Then we can darken it. So like contrast, contrast is important. So basically, what it does with um in 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 our emotional journey, so it goes. So as soon as we get to the chorus, because it's quiet, it won't do anything. And then you just hear. It. So I write it in, you know. Then it's all bright. Everything is good. And then it goes dark and Got quiet. You. Right, and then now, because verse two is something different, but I open it up a little bit because I want the like production is mostly about opening and closing. So you want to create the journey. You want to take the ear to like pay attention to what's cap what's about to happen next. So like the same thing that we opened up and we close it. We want to open just a little bit to take you to the verse. So this is what it would sound like with the vocal. Uh, so. <laughs> So this would be the big part. So it's so a slight it just opens, we just open it slightly. And then another really dope part um about the song in our like rhythmic journey. So we had we had like really dope uh rhythm. So, oh geez, I didn't talk about these guys. So like the drums, the drums are pretty cool, except they're a little bit boring without without fills. So, fills are like the last thing that I add on the track because you don't want to color the track too much. Like right at the end, um, it it's a, I think I did the the drum fills and the drum um sound effects literally on the same night after all the we had received all the final vocals. Um, I did like my like decluttered the song. And I was like, cool. Now the space. What drum fills are gonna be dope for the song? So there's one drum fill that I use to take us to the chorus. So, so small small things like that. Like um, so. So and then every single thing. So I like to leave impact. So like that, that that very last one, um, that very last hit. So it literally lives on its own channel, and it's got a ton of reverb on it. Like, so that that tail end is gonna it's gonna live. So that that the reverb the the time on that delay is probably like ten seconds. So I, I went I went for the long reverb. So if you listen to everything in 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 context, we have our journey moves like this. Um, now the other thing, so like when you hear this. It sounds like I'm slamming my own track. When you hear this, it's nothing memorable. It's like it's cool. This is where um, our our master 
Tejo comes into play. Tejo is one of the most talented guitarists on earth. Like he gets it. Like I've I've worked with him on so many different styles of music. He brings he brings it. Like so this so he he's the glue that that brought everything. So like when when the thing he brings it like literally too. You you can see the village where this song was made. You can see like the township that the people are coming from. And you can see that it comes from South Africa and it's colorful. Just from like just hearing what it does. So so same part, I'm playing it again. Too. So the satisfaction comes twice. This is the second one. Second one. So same same method there at the at the big part. So we took we're going like this. When we flip it around, when we like drop it, then we like, oh my god, the biggest satisfaction. So he he just goes like a three three um three tones up like. So, da, so the first one is it starts on the tonic. Do, 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 do. The other one, do, do, do. just harmonic. Yeah. So I literally have every time I I do I do my guitars I do it in three. It's like seven. So seven style of guitar. You you always have like three three uh, three parts playing together. like literally like the secret weapon on this track then verse two like it's it's very different like contrast from from four on the floor to something very broken together so if we're coming from this okay we're second verse now yeah same thing verse two like we just want to write bring in uh, our our plugs all the elements they come in slowly um I just use filters and then change. And what, what's happening? What's happening? Because sure, you're, you're changing all this to complement what's being exactly. Yeah. So like the 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 vocal journey is like this. So if they go. Um, <laughs> The most important thing before before like my experience I have now, I used to really think the song was about um the beats. It's actually not, eh? Um the beats and the music work around the voice, you know. So it's like unless you make an instrumental album. So if you have an instrumental album there, then all the music is the main star. But in a professional world, like where you want song to have legs and do magic and change your life you need for for you to like the music must work around that's where as a producer your skill is like you know the gadgets you know what this thing can do you know what the computer can do we need it we need the voice to like we want these people to listen from beat one all the way to the end you trick them by by making them listen to the voice what the voice is doing so every everything you do production wise you make it land. You you make it. You make the the listener listen to every single detail in the voice, and you add small tricks. You take away there, like oh, because you want them to listen to the words. 
every time until the end of the song. So, like the. So like if if there was a do 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 if that if like you wouldn't hear you say a and the other one says b you wouldn't hear like what they say so you draw attention like the music is also complementing what they say you know hence like we decided to like to to stagger the rhythm and and like just focus on kick snare 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 you know and then then like uh radicalize one another we just darken it a little bit by adding an 808 on 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 the third line of the song so it'd be like on, of, of this of verse two <laughs> So there's like an 808 boom. You know, little transitions, even if that is a, is like a transition to, to inform you that we're about to get faster. We're not we're not like staying in a in a chill zone. We're going faster. Boom, 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 boom. So then, then including like every single element is always it's uh, in in music writing they call it prosody. Like so, when everything is working together to do one particular thing, even the guitar, like everything, and then big part. every single thing and then obviously like we know this part takes us to the chorus and then oh there's this really dope part of this after after we do another big chorus i um there's like a word that we use at studio when we're doing these parts we call this part the hug <laughs> so like so so after like this massive part like This one gets okay, pretty epic, yeah. So then other thing is that I never repeat my the, the fills like so the, the first fill that takes is to chorus one. We heard this before. Two, three, four. You know, the group is young guys, they they, they got energy. I've watched them on TikTok. Like you know, I stalk my clients, you know, so um I had to go and look at look look them up yeah. and see what kind of content they post. And understand how they perform that way i can like really bring me to the table so if they ask like so what do you bring to the table besides the beats it's the understanding of like what do you do how you perform um as a musical director i know like when when um you know if, if you have a do 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 so stage wise like that someone who's directing a performance they're gonna inform the lights to go do 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 you know so i need for all those elements to kind of work their way into the music and so i open up some things intentionally music wise to like like so like this I, there's a lot of blanking two three and see at that part there's nothing melodic every single thing is made i make sure like if if we're making movements if we're making movement um, rhythmically, melodically, shut up. Like everything else, shut up. No harmony, ba da ba. We need to pay attention to the drum roll only. You know. Two, uh, three, and... So every single thing is intentional. Oh, thank you. White then we've got the hug, which takes us to like the main big chorus. 
oh geez i forgot to mention like so i made a twist in 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 the breakdown so there's a there's this part we call this breakdown chorus where the chorus happens without any drums um so i needed it to feel like you're hearing the song for the first part for the first time ever um so that's in in songwriting they call that the middle eight three m so what i did there so i just used guitar completely different like i think the final version i i even i even like when we're mixing we definitely even took out um the the electric guitar like just to make a very stark difference between what was going on before to to like this new world it feels like you're hearing the song literally from the beginning so from the hard hard to be like yeah so cool amazing two three and Because this is our biggest chorus. Then that's like our main main chorus, and then that's the last one. Right? So it's like it needs to be bigger than life. Then from there we go, we hug you out. We're like, oh guys, thank you. Oh. No. One, two, three, let's go. kind of like wrapping everything together so we kind of wrap it up with the pad the pad has been there the whole time no one's noticed the pad but um so in in like in terms of your 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 journey like so my process in when before i even start like throwing sounds at a song um i go to my my initial thinking which is like cool the song needs to be hopeful Needs to be positive. Needs to be energetic, and then I'll assign three things. Like so, if it's like energetic, that means drums, positive, key, and the tone of sound. So as a piano is always going to feel hopeful, but you can't drive a song with the piano the whole time. Uh, and then the third thing would be, um, you know, the use of like if, if we're dealing with things of hope, it's like you you need sounds that. Um, hug you like like a pad the pad is there it's like ooh. let me show you a pad guys let me show you a pad this is one of my favorite pads um uh, there's two pads i use i won't show you the other one because it's my pad i don't want nobody using my pad it's a business secret of course it's a business <laughs> secret it's my pad i don't want nobody knowing my pad Cool. So here it is. Uh, it's an Omnisphere. Everybody's got Omnisphere, except me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> Why? Okay. So I just type in warm pad. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Last week. What, you, what you're doing there is very important. So uh, just the importance of EQing. Like, um, Why are we struggling so much? Yeah. In in beat making, like, I find that the most important thing for me is actually uh, getting the sound that I want when I drop the instrument there. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Look, like I craft everything before, so hence like I know exactly what I need. Then I'll figure it out. Like if I if I'm dealing with four major instruments. Like when I'm making the beat, like when I sent this demo, um, the first demo, they're like, yo, it's sparse, bro. I'm like, no, it's on purpose because we need for the, the there needs to be space for the guitarist and there needs to be space for the final vocals. And then, then I figured out from there, like, do we have enough space? Because my, the old 37, I used to crowd, man. Like there was a time where I was like, yo, I was using so many instruments. Cause my mind works so fast and i work fast here then you end up with like channels for days and then my engineer is like now nah, be come on don't do this to us you know so i've i've learned so i i can go very um you can be very for this style of track 
normally you there's a lot of stuff going on you need to like build a dope foundation you need to have a dope kick uh a dope snare uh a dope hi-hat like your your your, your high frequency stuff must be quite sophisticated for your rhythm section to be dope then your bass it's cool depends if the focus is the bass for a song like this because it's like we're still gonna be dealing with like 256 channels of vocals <laughs> so you need to kind of make space so everything like the pads you know like the pad at the biggest part the pad is in um the piano is out definitely and then you definitely have the plug for the rhythm and then the guitar was going to be doing its thing and then but like everything you want to be able to pinpoint okay that's what's happening there this is what it's doing to me emotionally that's what that's doing that's what it's doing emotionally into the journey and then make the parts man that is for me that is the um, secret of production you just need to understand what the people are going through and how to to make the machine do that job